What's going on guys? Hope you're having a great day out there today. So today we're doing a little bit of more fun down here in the shop. Um, really cold and nasty outside. I'll show you what it looks like outside real quick. So as you can see, it is cold and snowy and nasty outside. It's currently like 15 degrees um, and the snow has just been constant all day on and off, but uh, a little too cold to be outside uh, smashing the cars at the moment. Does not do farewell too well on the bodies. All right, guys, so today I went down to the local hobby shop. Um, I was looking around for some parts and pieces, and uh, also I was kind of looking around for some new bodies for the granite and the typhon here. Um, the granite, as you guys know, this thing did not have a body. It completely got smashed in half on the last uh, video outside. <laughs> Cold weather does not do very well on uh, bodies. But anyway, what they had in stock down there was a body for the voltage. Um, didn't really matter. You know, I was going to order something maybe off of Amazon at one point, but... You know, I will always try and get out of my local hobby shop and get as much as I can from them to help support them. So, grabbed one of these voltage bodies, just peeled off the voltage stuff and slapped on another one of the armor stickers um, and a couple other ones. And, of course, one of my bars and tone stickers. If any of you guys want to pick one of those up, the link will be down in the description um, to the site where you can grab a sticker if you want. But, anyway, the granite's got a new dome on it. Looks really nice and sharp. So, excited to take that thing out whenever it's not 15 degrees. But the Typhon was the other one that was in desperate need of a body. Um, as you can see, it had some unnecessary venting going on with this thing. Um, even some of the guys on this, the comments on one of the videos on this car said how bad this body was. And uh, I agree, it was in pretty nasty shape. But anyway, they did not have any pre-painted bodies down there. They did, however, have a clear one. So decided to pick up a clear body. And got a can of simple white paint. Um, you know, I thought about picking up some different colors and trying to do some elaborate color scheme on this thing. Honestly, I don't do a lot of body painting. But, um, you know, I figured it's just going to get scratched up and beat up, you know, probably in the first run or two anyway. So we're going to do a nice gloss white on this thing and going to, you know, lay down some different, de the new decals on it. The, the package does come with the whole decal kit in there. So hopefully it comes out pretty decent but uh we're gonna go ahead get this thing out of the package scuff it up with the brillo pad and get painting this thing and see how it turns out guys so stick around all right guys well the first thing we're gonna work on here is we're gonna get this body cleaned up inside and get scratched up a little bit i'm gonna use some of this new wd-40 carbon throttle body cleaner to kind of degrease the inside of it before we give it a first coat of paint um so i guess we'll get started Scratching this thing up a little bit inside, just giving it, roughing it up a little bit. Just kind of helps keep the body of the paint uh, stick to the body a little, a little better. I've done it on the last couple bodies, and it definitely seemed like the paint stuck on there, you know, quite a bit better. It got no chipping or flaking or anything like that at all. Put some really, really fine scratches in the plastic. That's the body. The paint kind of stick in there a little better. Hopefully, we start getting some better weather here soon, or at least a little bit warmer. No more of this, you know, 10 and 15 degree stuff, and we can actually go back out and have a little fun with the cars. But uh, right now, we're just working on some stuff and getting things fixed up and ready for the nice weather. So, I'm going to go grab a towel here. We're going to clean this up and uh, get ready to do its first paint job. All right, well, we got her nice and roughed up inside. I'm going to go ahead and give her a quick spray with some of this cleaner. Get any last little bit of grease or film out of there. Never used this on plastic, so hopefully it's relatively safe. <laughs> well, it did uh, cloudy it up a little bit. But I guess we'll see what it looks like with the paint. Definitely stripped all the stuff off there, though. Well, I'm going to blow this thing out with a compressor, and we're going to hit this thing with, hit it with the first paint, a coat of paint, see what she looks like. It's a very thin film, it just uh, it does come right off of the nail. Wasn't sure if it actually melted the plastic, but it doesn't seem like it, it's just kind of left the film on there. Well, we'll get the uh, first coat of paint on here and see what she looks like. Ready you out there? 
that do bodies a lot don't pick on me <laughs> don't do a lot of bodies and don't really have a special way of doing it but wanted to at least throw a coat of paint on i was almost ready to just leave the body clear but i decided ah, we'll throw a clear a coat of some simple white on there and see what uh see what it looks like i was looking at the body the stock body and I like the white spot parts on it, so I figured we're going to try with just the white. I think it's just on the outside. Right, better blow this off one more time, I think. A little bit of static. It's kind of attracting a little bit of dirt. All right. I think we're good to go now. Gonna give it one real light coat, let that dry up, and then we will come back for a second coat. This does have the clear uh, layer still on the outside. I have not peeled that off, so. All right, well, I think we're gonna let that dry up here for a little bit, and uh, we'll come back when this coat's dry. All right, guys, well, it's been about 20 minutes. The first coat has set up nicely. I um, had it over top of the heat. So we're going to give her a second coat now and uh, wait for that one to dry and start getting the decals on it. See how the white shell looks on this thing. Hopefully it comes out half decent. Going on nicely, sticking really good. I know this probably isn't terribly exciting to watch, <laughs> but figured I was doing the body. Figured bring you guys along if anybody's interested in seeing the body get painted. Definitely don't take for how I'm doing it as gospel by any means. This is how I've just always done mine. I've never had any issues with paint sticking, but I don't get into fancy, um, you know, paint schemes. So there's lots of guys out there that do do that, and uh. Definitely recommend checking out their videos if you're looking for maybe the absolute proper way of doing bodies. But, uh, well, she looks pretty good. Looks like a pretty nice heavy coat. Um, so we're going to go ahead and let this one dry up. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when we're going to start decaling this thing. All right, guys. Well, paint's all dried up. I don't think she looks too bad. Got a nice white shine to it. Looks pretty decent. So, I got the stickers warmed up a little bit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, start with the decals. I'm not going to go through all these decals with you, um, but we're going to start throwing a few on, and then I'll just bring you guys back once she's all finished up. Just figured I'd bring you guys along for a moment while I'm working on this. Down here in the uh, lovely cold Pennsylvania at the moment. Hopefully I can get these decals on straight the first time. It's always hard when you're dealing with curved curved surfaces. Sometimes the stuff does not like to go on too easily. I have the old body up here. I'm just trying to remember for reference where all the old where the old decals went on this thing. Because some of them couldn't quite remember, to be honest with you. They also did include the ones that go inside, you know, for um, you know, protecting the inside to help strengthen it up a little bit. But uh, I guess we'll start working on these. And there's some on this that don't even look like they belong on this, to be honest with you. Because there's ones that are not on the original body. So I'm not sure what they were originally for. But slap a couple more on here and then I'll just bring you guys back when she's all done. Things are not a lot of fun sometimes to try to stick her up. Trying to get everything lined up properly is always a good time. 
but I think it's going to look sharp with the, just the white and just the red and black decals on here. I think it's going to look pretty good when it's all done, guys. Kind of excited to see what it looks like. Poor Typhon has been having this same beat old body for quite a while now. Well, since I got it. So far, so good. All right, well, I'll bring you guys back when I get this thing all finished up here and uh, show you guys the final product. Well, she's coming along, guys. I got all the, uh, pretty much all the inside reinforcement stuff back on there. Looking pretty good. Haven't really done too much else with the outside. I was working on the inside now, but uh, she's coming along. And honestly, I'm really liking the way that this white looks, but we'll get some more of these decals on. I'll show you the final product now. Man, guys, this body came out really nice looking. I'm really happy with uh, how well it turned out, actually. You know, I wasn't sure. I don't paint bodies very much. Luckily, I mean, it's not very difficult. It's just one color. But um, you know, between just the flat white and the decals, I think it looks pretty sharp. What do you guys think? But I uh, got everything, all the decals on this thing. Um, the hardest ones to get on there initially were these, these back louver ones, and getting the Typhon ones with these extra strip of decals that are attached all matched up. But uh, got everything inside, got the uh, body post, uh, the little reinforcers on those. Of course, had to stick the don't just bash blast inside, but we got all the reinforcements inside and the outside of it is looking awesome. Really happy with how well this turned out. Glad I just went with the plain white and black scheme, but uh, that's what she looks like on the car. And uh, I think it looks pretty sharp, guys. <laughs> really happy with it, honestly. But uh, I'm going to stick the uh, retainer clips on here real quick and uh, get her finished up. Alrighty, well, she is all finished up. We've got her retaining clips on here now. She's ready to roll. And I'm uh, really loving the new killer. Really loving the new body. This thing came out great. Really happy with it. But thanks for coming along, guys, and watching along with a painting video here. I know, first time ever doing one of these, so don't criticize me too much. <laughs> I don't do this very often, but I figured I'd give it a try here tonight and see how she turned out. And honestly my first attempt uh i'm pretty happy with it but uh thanks for tuning in guys until next time y'all be safe be careful out there peace out everybody